For piecewise functions, you'll see the y equals split into two or more pieces like this. In this case, the y equals absolute value of x squared plus 4x minus 5 for x is less than or equal to 0, and y equals 2x minus 1 for x is greater than 0. Now when you have piecewise functions, you want to set each part or each piece as a different function. So for us, the first part, the absolute value of the x squared, is going to be absolute value of y4 for x is less than or equal to 0, and the second part, the 2x minus 1, is defined as y1 for x greater than 0. Now to enter it into the format that the calculator can understand, set it up as a separate function. This is the easiest way I know how. And then define your function in parentheses, followed by parentheses defining your x values. A plus sign between the pieces, and then repeat the process. If you have to do it three times for a three-part piecewise, do so. So in this case, I will define our y7 as the function putting it all together. So for y7, open parentheses, get the absolute value symbol, and then to basically define this as y4, I have to go to the vars key, select y vars, and function is number one, and then four for the y4. Go outside the absolute value bars, close parentheses, open parentheses to define the x values, and then for here I have to go to the test menu by pressing second and math, and that's for x is less than or equal to, so that's 6, and then 0, close parentheses, plus sign, as strange as it may seem, open parentheses, I repeat the vars operation, so I go to vars, y vars, press enter for function, in this case y1 is option 1, close parentheses, open parentheses, x, go to the test menu, 3 for greater than, and then 0, close parentheses, enter. As y7 is the only one selected, this will be my graph. Notice the x squared plus 4x minus 5 bounces as it hits the x-axis because it's an absolute value. And if you need to, you can go to the table to see the x and y values defined for the piecewise function.